I, uh, I'm tracing the original 13 on this to put on my hood. I no longer have the original stencils, but uh, that's how it, the hood turned out. This is a strap I was doing earlier. It came out okay, and I gotta put the 13 right here. And I gotta put my face of spades and two of hearts back. What's up? Anyways, so I traced some of the key elements. Um, I can see it through this tin thin paper. Obviously, I can't see it in cardboard. And I am recreating the stencil that I used to make this 13. Eventually, this trunk was getting replaced anyway, but these particular stripes and numbers are part of this car since a couple years ago, and uh, they're a large part of the character, so I'm, I'm just putting them all back as I replace panels. So, that's what I'm doing. Decided not to uh, transfer the pattern to a piece of cardboard and try to see if I could use this piece of paper with some tape around it. I don't know, it doesn't turn out good. The good thing about a rat rod is you could, you know, start over. Because the car is in primer, it's not actually painted yet, so. Well, I've taped everything off. As you can see, I'm at a laundromat doing my laundry. I don't know how much more real than this you can get. All those guys saying, well, when I get the time, when I get the money, I'm going to do something with that pile of crap in my backyard. This should be somebody's pile of crap in somebody's backyard, but it isn't. I drive it every day, and I don't even own a washing machine, so ain't nobody got no excuse. There's my man reading popular hot rodding. Valera. There's Vala. And there's my wife. So, uh, I mean, I've been doing all this all day. I didn't even have time to, to finish it. As you can see, I'm finishing it at the laundromat. The manager's probably going to come out and yell at me. But uh, it's all cool. Anyways, I'll let you know how it turns out. Alright, well, here's how you do it. I cut a rectangle out to do my, you know, my two cards. And uh, first you do the back card. In my case, the left card is the back card as, you know, usual. And the catch to making the two cards, two separate cards, is you gotta fade. Um, so you gotta do the edge. Nice and crisp. And you gotta fade towards the middle right there. Um, that way, this dries in a second. The overlay for your second card, and it's gonna be a nice clean white edge. You'll see in a minute, and you'll have two cards. And you know, this is a trick I learned from this crazy old man named Nova in Hawaii. Uh, back when he used to live in a van, he would paint the craziest stuff just using you know a dollar spray paint. This is 96 cents at Walmart, and just stencils. He would cut out. He can't even draw. I mean, this man, but he. Paint the craziest shit, like he painted on the public pool, on the wall. He, people would love his art, and it cost him nothing. And on the same thing, I mean, yeah, eventually I'll get an airbrush and you know start getting into that. Eventually, you know, this thing will be a gloss black. But for now, to detract the eye from the minor dents, um, there shouldn't be any dents. I bought some new fenders, but again, to detract the eye from minor dents. A set of cards, a stripe, things like that. It's a good way to keep your rat rod from looking like a piece of garbage. And don't do what those idiots do and they put zombie heads in the back of their shit. That's just cheesy. I mean, come on. You're not trying to make your car look like a piece of crap. It's quite the opposite. You start with a piece of crap and you're trying to make it look like you're a hard-working man, right? I hate those posers. They got, like, beer cane accessories there. I mean, there's certain people that love those cars. I just despise them because it's just mockery of real poor people that are trying to hot rod, right? Well, I did this side, and there's a 13, it came out okay. And I did this side, this side came out a little better with the card spacing and whatnot. Um, turns out I forgot to get some black paint right now when I was doing the fenders, so I'll grab some paint on the way and then go home. But, uh, 
Anyways, we're at Target and it continues. Uh, we're done with our laundry. I cut out a spade and I cut these two corners out so that you could see the edge of the card so you know you're placing it properly in the middle because that would be a jacked up if you could put the spade somewhere offset and then it looks even worse than it is, you know? There you go. Uh, we gotta do this. So. Well, now it's gonna dry, and all this white overspray I get to touch up in a minute. And my wife and kids will go to Target, pick up whatever it is they need, while I cut out the little stencils for the ace and the two hearts. While we were at Target, I finished up the ace and I drew the two of hearts in pen. I'm going to finish it up with nail polish later. See, I did both sides and I met a guy who needed a jump and who also ran out of gas. So he walked to the gas station and back while I was parked next to him. And then he comes back, I was done with the ace and asked him if he wanted to learn how to do it. He's like, yeah, yeah, totally. So. I was like, well, do you want to do it on your car? I'll do it for free. He's like, hell yeah. So, uh, you'll see in the pictures, but I painted uh, an ace of spades and ace of clubs on the quarter panel of his 89 Chevy. Just because. It's fun. That's what we do. All right, well, we're back home. The kids are asleep. And I stole some nail polish from a beautiful person holding the camera. But anyways, uh, I did it up with the pen so I know where I'm doing. This is bright red. Gotta go over it and uh, be a little bit careful. Problem is the brush is so soft; it doesn't always go where you want it. It's not like drawing with a pencil. And a uh, funny story, I wound up giving some guy a jump start. And he was asking me how I painted these cars on the car. And I showed him because I still had the templates because I was still out and about. And so I was like, yo, you want some? He's like, yeah, why not? So I wound up drawing. Um, on his 89 Chevy Celebrity, a pair of aces, an ace of hearts, or an ace of spades and ace of clubs, because uh, obviously his car wasn't 13, so he didn't need a two of hearts. And I didn't have any red paint at the time. But uh, you'll see the pics. It's, I thought it was the coolest thing ever. Gave the guy a jump start. My wife was in the store so long, I painted some cards on the car. So anyways, there you go. The Firebird has its traditional stripe. 
Ace of Spades, two of hearts. It's got the 13. This time the bumper's not all jacked up. This fender has some damage to it, but nothing I can't hammer out later. Um, but it's got the cards. It's good to go.